Last year, this person posted a photo on their flight saying, guess where I'm going? And I replied with her flight number and her seat, which gained like over 50 million views. But what I don't think what people realize is, is how easy it is. And more so as a public service announcement for people out there, do not post live on vacation. It's dangerous and you never know who's out there, who's watching your stuff. So a follower of mine tagged me in this photo and he said, at Jerome Bolt, but can you guess my flight? And so that's what we're gonna do. I have not started this yet. No one has replied to this. It has 74 views. And so I'm gonna start a timer and see how long this takes me. I do not think this will take long. Timer starts now. What I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna find context on where this guy was around the same time he took this photo. Looks like we can see like water in the back there. Maybe he was on vacation. It looks like the flight is lifting off because low elevation and it's not landing. It doesn't look like. So we're gonna find his tweets from around the same time. So we're gonna do from and then his username until and then 2023 9 11 which will be a two day difference out sort of by latest. So he tweeted this to me on September 9th 2023 and so we already know he's gonna be in Mexico. So this is probably well, well, this is in Cabo. This is um, in Baja, right? And this like famous arch. I mean, this guy's giving us everything we need to know. So we have where he was. So he was in Cabo and we even have the hotel he was sitting at here. We can even find this hotel probably. And so does he have any tweets about like a flight or something? Nope, that's his only tweet. Mexico. Does he tweet anything about Cabo? No. Okay. So I'm gonna go back here, do media and see if there's anything else here. Strava. Okay. New York, Hamptons. Is that consistent? New York, New York, Brooklyn, New York. Okay, so he took a flight from presumably New York to Cabo on September 9th. There we go. So I'm just going to Cabo here. I'm going to find his hotel real quick. It's just like on the water. The pool will have that little circle thingy in it. Okay, there's his hotel taken from like right there. That's that circle thing that we saw. So confirming we're going to be in Cabo and I guarantee you the Cabo Bay that has the arch. Yeah, the arch is right there. So that's for the one there and then his hotel was right there and he probably landed here at this international airport from New York. We can see here too this wing is going to be the JetBlue wing. You can see it's the same design here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a filter in Cabo. So at this airport, passenger airline, add new filter. Airline is going to be jet blue. Airport is going to be Cabo. Route will be from Cabo to, let's do all the New York because we don't know what airline he, he I mean, he could, if he was living in New York at the time, he could have use New York or anything like that. So we're just gonna click all of these. Most of these don't even have international flights, but whatever. Okay, so we have the filter now. And so then we're gonna play back on September 9th, or it have been the 8th since I'm like a day ahead in the time zone. 3, 12 a.m. here, which would be like, what, 20 UTC. And there is a flight here that's leaving right when he tweeted that. JBU 938, this will be his flight. He tweeted this at 2012 UTC. To confirm this, I'm gonna load up the previous flight history here, and then I'm gonna download the KML to open it to Google Earth. And we can see here now in Google Earth, we have the whole plane that he was on, flight path. And so we can just line up where he was at that time, which is gonna be like right here. I think he was at 2011, 25, like a couple seconds later, facing like this angle right here. So he took this at exactly this time from this ping from the plane. And you can see right here, this thing behind the plane right there is this thing right here. And then we can see the line going down from like that right there with this like grass field, it, it just lines up. So that confirmed that this was his flight. And now we can find exactly exactly what time he landed in New York. So he taxied at 145.52 UTC in New York. And we even have the aircraft type here. And so he was right behind the wing. Maybe he was in the X row here. Probably not since it's there's no window seat there. So he's probably in sitting in seat 23A because he was right behind the wing there, but not directly behind it. And it makes sense because his hotel did look nice and this is an upgraded seat. But yeah, that's how easy it is. And so pretty much in 10 minutes, I found his flight path, when he landed, where he took off from, his seat, and where he was staying at in his hotel. And he posted this live because his tweet came out one minute after he was actually in this flight based off the trajectory of where this photo was taken from. So be careful out there. I wanted this just to be more of like a, a public service announcement. I never post live. I, well, first of all, I don't even go outside. But when I do, if I post something, it's I always wait till I'm home or until after the fact because you never know who's watching your stuff or who has what intentions. So keep that in mind when you post things on the internet. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, like, subscribe, or don't. And I'll see you guys next time.